Located at 2615 Meridian, Mississippi, right here on the interstate. So if you're driving a bigger truck or an RV and you just wanted to stop by, some people drive by and see this tiny little lot and it's loaded with campers, but they're like, mm, I don't have room to really park my big semi or RV or whatever it is you're pulling by, I do. Located underneath this really enormous side, there's a side road where I highly recommend all those bigger vehicles park, but don't be afraid to stop by, say hello, take a look at all the different makes and models that I carry. Between the two dealerships that we have, I do believe we, are, we finally have gotten close to 100 models in stock. But today we're going to be looking at this new 2022 Keystone Cougar model number 29 RKS. Rear kitchen with a slide, half ton. If you're new here, we welcome you to the channel. Continue to show your support by leaving your feedback in that comment section down below. And let's get started. We are going to start on the inside first and go over some of its features but first let's take a look at the data plate and go over some of the numbers the exact specs of the vehicle unloaded weight so as the vehicle sits minus the battery and propane tanks you're at 9020 gross vehicle weight rating completely loaded out the vehicle will weigh 10,400 looks like you're riding on 5100 pound axles e-rated tires and with that being said you're going to have right at here in the bed of your truck 1,605 pounds but coming at you 32 feet 9 inches long this model is going to have three total slides rear kitchen setup even an outdoor kitchen kind of a cool little entertainment area here's a shot of your stickers on the outside model number 29 RKS and again that's not the exact length of the camper that's a rough estimate I always tell my viewers Go ahead and add at least one or two more to get the total length. 32 feet, nine inches of total length. And I'm gonna give you right at an estimated 14 feet of walking space found here in your living area. Two total slide outs here in the coach giving you lots of additional square footage. Rear kitchen setup, and I love the way the kitchen's kind of all set. Everything's separate, makes it really nice. But I'm first, I'm gonna have a seat. And we're gonna go over your entertainment center area here. Located in one slide itself, uh, you're gonna have right about a 52 inch television. I did have this on earlier, but I had to step away for a few. But you do have uh, some AM, FM radio controls inside the cabinet. I'll open that up here momentarily. Electric fireplace, and that one's gonna produce right at 5,000 additional BTUs of heat. But you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights to assist your guests if you do happen to have anyone sleeping on the trifold sleeper sofa. Glass accent on some of the cabinetry. And this here is gonna be the radio, inside and outside speakers, Bluetooth capable. Notice the yellow sticker though, I wanna talk about this as we go around. Keystone makes it pretty much standard equipped from the factory now for a Solar Flex 200. You got a 200 watt solar panel found on the roof of the model. The coach is already gonna be pre-wired from the factory with an inverter loop. So if you decided to add an inverter later, you already have it pre-wired. So all those additional stickers that were yellow are included in that inverter loop. So if you were to add it, that outlet would work. So your television could work off the solar on this model. Let's come back to the kitchen area. The countertops inside this model are what I call a press membrane countertop. That is a hard heated plastic wrapped over that material, which keeps it from swelling in the event that it ever makes contact with water. Give you a shot underneath your sink. That's gonna be the additional leaf that you can put on the top. I forgot to add them. Stainless steel 50-50 sink. And again, I forgot to add the leaflets that are there. They're underneath the sink there. I'm gonna come around and show, show off some of the cabinetry. At first I was a little bit like, hesitant with the cabinet space, but it's not too bad. You've got pullouts over here and all the cabinet models. So all, on the Keystone Cougar half ton, your cabinet facings, boxes, this is all gonna be solid wood. Pullouts here. And then again, you have more cabinetry located over here. And this is gonna be your pantry for the model. I'm gonna open it up here in a sec. 12 volt refrigerator, 10.4 cubic foot. 
Here we go. Let's open this up. Fridge on the bottom. Freezers found on the top. Let's look at the oven while I close this behind me. This is your standard size Furion RV type oven. Maybe room for a couple pans of biscuits or casserole dish. Three burners on the top. Low profile hood vents, so plenty of room for larger pans and all black appliances. That's nice. Honestly though, I, I kind of feel like they, they should have just continued over the stainless steel. That would have been rather, rather nice in my opinion. Tell me down below what you think. So let's take a look at some of the window treatments in the model. Cougar Half Ton is already going to have 80% tint on its windows. Some of them are trimmed with a balance. Black roller shades as well. Let's look at your <coughs> dining room slide. Slide box height right at 5 foot 10. It's almost 5 foot 10 and a half to be exact. This table here, you have a freestanding table with four chairs. And this table does a few different things, or at least one. You can unlatch it from here and it will slide to the left or to the right. So if you have a smaller individual, you can put the larger over here or vice versa. Honestly, I feel like I need to close those blinds. It's kind of interfering, interfering with the view right now. Your furniture, you do have theater seats and there is storage in the center, heated and massage option, but you can order the coach with another sleeper sofa here, maybe sleeping upwards of six individuals. All your controls for heating and massage. I'll open that up. It's not a leather. It's, it's I guess you could call it a leather. In the past though, this material has flaked a lot around the head and in my opinion over the course of the last maybe year and a half it's improved greatly. I don't have as many recalls for customers are bringing those back. Let's head up to the hallway. So all your controls are in this in-command system just by pressing it. Code on for all the buses usually zeros or ones. Heating and air conditioning for this controls both of your air conditioners front and rear. That's the front, here's your rear. Let's go back, water pump, water heater. Water heater is gonna be a six gallon gas or electric and you can also turn them both on at the same time. Quick recovery. Heated holding tanks also will be found underneath this, underneath all these controls and you can link it with your phone. Let's back up and show you what, what it's gonna look like stepping upstairs. Ceiling height, once you're stepping up, six foot four and three quarter inches high. Queen size bed in the front. This is a north to south bed. Your second air conditioner there is a 13.5. Both of those are whisper quiet. Does a really great job of keeping the unit cold. It's 100, I think, four degrees right now in Meridian. It's running, and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna turn off, but it's, it's really, really cool inside. And that's just being realistic with you. With temperatures as hot of 106, 107 degrees, those air conditioners during the heat of the day, it's 1140. We're gonna take a look at the thermostat before we end the video. I turned it on about 30 minutes ago. Closet slide over here. So be mindful of this. Whenever you are getting ready for transit or getting ready to close things up, you need to make sure those closet doors are closed because if you're here in the hallway, just be careful that everything is sealed up nicely before you get ready to retract this slide in. A few additional pullouts. CPAP friendly on both sides of the bed. And per one of my viewers, this is a really good recommendation. If you happen to have a CPAP, those machines do leak. It's just the truth of things. Place yourself like a plastic container and then put the machine inside of it. And you also notice that yellow sticker giving you power possibly included in that inverter loop. A little bit of a cubby. Coming around to the foot of the bed, television control mount, excuse me, here on the wall. I recommend a professional do that for you. Let's look at your bathroom. Really big bathroom, your ceiling height again, six foot three, almost six foot four. It is a flush mounted pan. You do have additional headroom with the skylight provided. Cougar model is gonna give you a porcelain foot flush toilet and notice the floor vents randomly throughout the floor. You do have a 30,000 BTU gas furnace, which is controlled or should I say supplied by the two 20 pound propane bottles on the front of the model. 
that pretty much completes your bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sleeper sofa. So I've gone ahead and closed the roller shades as well as opened up the sleeper sofa to give you guys a better understanding of what those look like. And this is to answer one question that gets asked a lot. Exact dimensions of the sofa. 46 inches wide, five foot 11 if you are to remove the cushions from the back, five foot seven if you leave them in place. Now let's go back and check out the thermostat. I said we're gonna check this before we head outside. So I turned the camper on right about 30 minutes ago, plugged it in and turned everything on, and I've had the black roller shades open. You saw them in the beginning. And now, and of course, I've had a couple customers, so I've been in and out of the door. So just keep that in mind. HVAC. Front air conditioner, this is the bedroom. Set at 74, it's currently 75. So that's kind of impressive. But then again, it's a kind of a small area, so that should be expected. Let's look at the back. So this is the back kitchen area where the blinds were open. It's currently 70, set at 74, and currently it's 80 degrees in here. But it feels a little bit cooler than that. I think the temperature's dropped several degrees since just closing the shades. But we will come back and check again once we finish on the outside. So I'm gonna give you guys just a realistic review on how this thing operates. But a date and time of making a video, MSRP, 72,000, $219. For pricing and availability, I always leave a link in my description taking you back to my website where you can view more additional photos as well as checking the availability. If you get back to my website and this camper is not there, send me a text, give me a call, leave me an email. I can definitely check the price and get you one ordered and get you one sent. I am in Meridian, Mississippi, but I've shipped all over the country. I've got customers in California, and I even have one in Canada. Now that's quite a drive for them, but we can make things happen. But coming at you right at 32 feet, nine inches of total length. With a dry weight as it currently sits again, we already went over that, 9,020 pounds. Each weight on this coach was 1,605. I'd recommend pulling it with at least a three quarter ton gas or diesel. It is the half ton, but this one is not gonna be half ton towable. This model is going to be 96 inches wide and it's leveled from a four point electric fully automatic leveling system. So just by simply pressing one button, this model will in fact level itself. Let's come around here and go over where those controls are located at. Fully molded fiberglass front cap, by the way. But coming around to your front pass through compartment, this is where all the controls are going to be located at. And there's several things going on in here. So I'm gonna step back and just give you guys a good view. We're gonna start over here first. Front pass-through storage compartment. This is gonna be the smart charger for that 200 watt solar panel found on the roof. This is gonna be monitoring the battery, keeping it charged, making sure it's not overcharged. That's the responsible thing that this is gonna be doing. Right over here, you got your fully automatic leveling controls. Just by simply pressing on one button, this coach will in fact level itself. Let's pull the plastic off. It's like Christmas morning. So these things are extremely easy to operate, but if you find yourself in a situation, that's one thing we do for you here. You're gonna have my cell phone number so you can call or text me if you're having any kind of issues or maybe needing to do some troubleshooting. Here on the roof though, this is that inverter prep for that 200 watt solar panel. So later down the line, if you wanted to do some upgrading, Keystone makes it easy for you. Adding a simple plug and play inverter here, plus adding maybe a bigger lithium battery, all those outlets that were inside and even out, there's one over here that have that yellow sticker would have power from that inverter. This is gonna be the water management area. The water lines will come up through the floor, connecting to either your city water connection or black tank flush, depending on which whatever you're doing at the moment. These are the pull handles for all of your sewer. Black comes from the toilet, gray comes from your kitchen sink and your shower. Holding tanks on this coach, so here it's your black. You can have 30 gallons of poo. That's right, 30 gallons of it. Gray tank, 60 gallons of water coming from your shower and sink. Anything that's not black. Black tank flush, that's what, what, it, what it is whenever you're finished camping. Or if you just wanna clean out your camper, connect the fresh water to your black tank flush here. Pull the handle, it sends a, a lot of water to that holding tank, just keeping it nice and clean. That's gonna be a connection for an outside shower. Key TV for satellite prep. 
the blue line goes up to the ceiling of the model so if you ever were to add a satellite dish to the roof it's already pre-wired for you that's going to be the six gallon gas or electric hot water heater and i showed you the controls for that inside and you can also turn them both on at the same time model's going to be riding on two 5100 pound axles e-rated tires shot of your slide floor here let's go this direction here coming around to your main camp side look at all the docking lights though so talking about being able to find your camper in the campground extremely easy you got three different ones here here as well on the top pass through compartment i love how they trimmed them out it's really nice things are organized looks clean TV and satellite connections. So if you were to place, that's what this lip is for. A place for you to put your television once you get in place for camping. That yellow sticker again. Power coming over from that inverter. Your baggage doors are right at an inch thick on the Cougar model. Slam latches. Your entryway, and I always talk about this because I'm tall. I do not like to hit my head. You're going to be right at five foot eight, almost five foot nine. 20 foot awning there is led lights i forgot to turn them on located under the awning those will be located in that digital control panel that i was showing you inside lipper component steps with the bigger step at the top makes entering and exiting a little bit easier notice the difference in size friction hinge on the entry door too oh yeah i gotta go back to the air conditioner <laughs> let's, let's close that keep it nice and cold in there Outside speakers are located over the outdoor kitchen. Stainless steel infrared grill. Capital grill. This is called an infrared style where it's got miniature holes throughout. This is hooked to the quick disconnect located underneath the slide. Right here. There is a shutoff valve there. So hose provided just to connect that if you're deciding to utilize it miniature fridge located outside and this is one thing to talk about normally these fridge when it comes to other models do not work while going down the road well let's say you add that inverter this outlet wire to the fridge allows this one to stay cold while going down the road so if you make a quick stop you can just simply grab a cold drink from the outside without having to go through the model coming around outside shower i've been asked this before what is this drew what is this thing nobody can tell me other salesmen can't tell me this is ventilation for your plumbing that just allows your system to breathe we're going to look at this first that's the rear set of jacks for the automatic leveling controls fully enclosed underbelly good shot of your axles outside storage compartment here maybe room for a hamper the foil so inside of the camper there are five total vents in the floor this is coming from your 30,000 BTU heat furnace so it comes up this one goes up through the kitchen cabinets and it's one vent right there in the kitchen the other ones are found in a interlocking channel kind of type floor ductwork in the floor going all the way through you probably notice the different vents when you went through that's the other vent that's coming from the furnace you just can't see that one Coming around to the back, fully walkable roof, rear mounted ladder, 250 pound load capacity on your ladder. If you're kind of close to that weight, don't grab it and pull. Just be very cautious. Vacuum bonded, that's really nice too. You do have the two inch receiver on the back. This is not for pulling an additional trailer. 300 pound low capacity, and it even says not for towing. 50 amp coach and of course you know it already has two air conditioners but your power connection for that 50 amp is found on the back it's going to be provided with about a 25 foot power cord almost forgot to go over the front of the coach where you've got this additional storage which does house the spare tire the battery housing plus the battery disconnect switch but if you were to do some upgrades with the solar highly 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 recommend going with a good lithium battery most rvs on the market when you purchase them they're going to come with just your standard deep cell battery so that should be one of the first few things you think about upgrading well let's go ahead 
and take a look at the thermostat. Now, of course, it's only been maybe two or three more additional minutes. Let's see if anything's changed. HVAC. So front air conditioner set at 74, so it's finally maintained the temperature that it's coming to. And this is your kitchen set at 74, and it's down to 78. So it's dropped a few degrees already. So tell me what you think in the comments. All of your interactions with my videos help me out greater than you guys think. Leave me a thumbs up. Come see this.